product rule with negative exponents. We said earlier that the product rule is that whenever you have a base being raised to an exponent and you multiply it with the same base being raised to an exponent that we can combine those bases and then add the exponents. So x to the a times x to the b would be x to the a plus b. So we can use that for our variables, but we also have some numbers there that are being multiplied, just regular numbers. So there we see that there's a 2, another 2, and a 3. So if we were to multiply those, we would have 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is going to give us 12. And those are just numbers, so we didn't have to apply that rule. But for the rest of them, they are variables. So for example, I've got a V here, and I've got a V here, and that looks like all of the Vs. Now, I know that when I multiply, I can add the exponents, but it looks like that first V doesn't have an exponent. But in fact, it does. That exponent is just gonna be one. We just don't always write it. So that's v to the 1 times v to the negative 7. If I add those exponents, 1 plus negative 7 is actually going to give me v to the negative 6. So 1 plus negative 7 is negative 6. And we look for any other similarities. I see some u's here. I've got u negative 5 and u3. When I multiply those, I again keep the base u but I add the exponents negative 5 plus 3 gives me a negative 2 and then we have one more to do and that is the y's y8 times y negative 8 we keep the base add the exponents 8 plus a negative 8 actually gives us 0 so we've multiplied and everything, we've simplified, but we are told to leave only positive exponents in our answer. So for the 12, the 12 is not a problem. It's not an exponent, it's just a number. But the v to the negative six, to get rid of the negative, I'm gonna need to bring that down to the denominator. That's how I can make that a positive six. The same thing for the u, it was u negative two, I can bring it to the bottom and now it is u two. So I've made those positive. And then the y to the zero, y to the zero is just one. So since everything here is being multiplied by one, then nothing changes. 12 times one is still just 12. So our simplified answer is 12 over v six u two.